The 730G is what you can find in the Pixel 4a, which is what I have right here. And it does fairly well. I do want to add a little more into my experience with the Pixel 4a, though, since I've been using it pretty much 99% of the time. I take this phone with me over my um, iPhone 11 Pro, over my Huawei P40 Pro Plus. Uh, this has been my daily driver, and it's done fairly well for me, but it it isn't it isn't a powerhouse it's not a speed demon right and uh I'll, I'll talk about that in a bit so when i saw that the snapdragon 732g got announced the first thing that went through my head was man what a i mean it's it looks like it's just a little boost in power but would have been great to see that come onto the pixel 4a I would have loved this upgraded 732G to um, to get put into the Pixel 4a, but you know what was it going to affect the price? Was it going to bump it up by a lot? And it looks like it just got announced, so I'm who knows how much this really would have gone for. So let's go ahead and let's read into this article here. The Snap 730G proved to be a popular chip for mid-range smartphones and was used in the likes of the Pixel 4a, Poco X2, and Mi Note 10 Pro. Makes me wonder how much more expensive this 732G will cost. It's the same 8 nanometer silicone as the 730G, but with higher clock speeds. The two big Cryo 470 cores now run at 2.3 gigahertz plus 0.1 gigahertz over the old chip. So really a minor a minor bump in speed, while the Adreno 618 GPU has been boosted to deliver 15% more performance. So a very slight increase in CPU, but a 15% increase in terms of graphics for the GPU. So if we look at this chart here, you'll notice here's the 730G, here's the 732G, 2.2 gigahertz versus 2.3 gigahertz. And then they're both using the Adreno 618, but there is a 15% boost um, in terms of that. It, it makes me wonder if that minute performance in uh, the CPU and the bigger performance in GPU would affect my loading times when it came to not gaming, but for like app opening and like some of the other some of the other heavier app usage apps that I have that have like shown me a little bit of lag when I'm using my Pixel 4a. So uh, I think the only other difference here is when it comes to charging, you'll see Quick Charge 4 versus Quick Charge 4 Plus. I haven't even really read into what the difference was for that. So the rest is the same with an LTE modem and Wi-Fi 6 connectivity. Bluetooth was bumped up to version 5.1, but it has the same features, including AptX Adaptive and True Wireless Stereo Plus. Quick Charge uh, 4 Plus is supported as well. Snapdragon Elite Gaming enables HDR rendering and Game Jank Reducer. I This is all very technical jargon I don't have too much familiarity with. Also, it supports Vulkan 1.1, so this can be used in mid-range gaming phones. The built-in ISP can record 4K video at 30 frames per second and supports HDR10 and HLG for high dynamic range footage. It can compress photos with the HEIF format blah, blah, blah. The first phone to be powered by the Snap 732G will be unveiled soon. Poco has called dibs. And so let's go ahead and let's get into the Poco X3. So uh, this is going to be the first phone that is going to be coming with the Snapdragon 732G. From what is known, the Poco X3 will sport a 6.67 inch, 120 hertz LCD. All right. So we're already, already off the bat. We're talking about a 732G chipset, so a lower end chipset, right? You know, one, an upgrade from the Pixel 4a, but it's talking about a 120 hertz LCD screen, uh, a 5160 milliamp hour battery, so a gigantic battery. Uh, is this is this the new trend right now? Are we are we talking about huge batteries on all these like mid range phones? Um, Team Verai actually sent me uh, a DM or a tweet, or both, uh, today or yesterday. I just read them today. But uh, about all of these new phones with gigantic uh, 
batteries, which is a good thing. I'm glad to see it. Um, it looks like companies are learning their lesson and they're starting to like really pack in bigger batteries in their phones. So a 64 megapixel camera and a Snap 732G. More importantly, no current Xiaomi or Redmi phone offers such specifications.